Then you know your your mentality really is everything, and that's really what he was talking about for the most part. Almost every bullet point that he had listed has something to do with the mental game. You know, it's like what happens to you is really what happens for you, right? He talks about you know however you see yourself, like your self identity, that's what you're going to manifest. He talked about the RAS system, which stands for Reticular Activating System. Does anybody know what that is? This is like powerful stuff here. Like if you understand this and you know how to use it to your advantage, I feel like the world is at your fingertips. Like there's there's a reason why certain people that we admire are, you know, succeeding and thriving. There's a reason why some of us are, you know, really succeeding at what we're doing. There's a reason why some of us are getting rich, right? There's a reason why some of us are at the same level and we're going to stay at the same level for months, right? There's a reason why. Uh, <clears throat> so check this out. The reticular activating system, he touched on it. He didn't really explain what it is, so I'll explain that for you. So uh, he, he made the comment that, like, you know, once you start thinking about red Corvettes, you start seeing that everywhere, right? Tony Robbins talks about this being kind of like a like a a homing system for our brain right if we put something in our mind and we focus on it we're gonna start seeing that so that's why when you buy a new car usually you start seeing that car everywhere all of a sudden because now your brain is so, so accustomed to seeing it it'll attract it in your in your visual does that make sense so you'll see more of it you're, you're gonna be thinking that you're attracting it into it but really it's your brain of uh, locking on to this thing once it sees it the kind of crazy stuff you know, so he also talked about being obsessed. You know, we have goals. We got to get obsessed with our goals. You know, like how serious are we? And some of us, you know, are obsessed. Some of us, you know, want to get rich really, really bad. Some of us want to, you know, achieve partnership really bad. We're obsessed with it, etc. Whatever your goal is, he talks about, you know, being obsessed with it. So check this out. And I'm going to give you a, a real life case study here that's going to blow your mind. Right, we all know, you know, my name is G Money, right? So even just the name has something to do with my identity, right? I'm wearing a shirt that I created myself and it says, let's get rich together. Like talk about being obsessed, right? And you guys might look at me and be like, man, look at this guy, he's freaking full of himself. That, you know, whatever, that's your opinion. But I'm just showing you guys the example of what the mindset really is all about. At age 24, I have a couple of hundreds of thousands to my name. You know, like, that's crazy. This is like outlandish stuff. And the reason why is not by accident. You know, I didn't just trip and fall into money. You know, my mom didn't come from money, you know? So it's like, how, how did this guy do it? And the reason why is because at a young age, I started understanding this. You see, you see what I'm thumping? The mindset, the head, the head space is freaking everything. You know, it's like not an accident why successful people are successful. Their mindset is the thing that is what it is, you know? So if <clears throat> if you're tired of having average results, if you're tired of mediocrity, if you're tired of, you know, not getting to the place you wanna be at, you gotta first self-reflect and realize if, if this is in the right space, it's gonna be inevitable you're gonna get there. So he made a comment, he said, you'll get whatever you're worth because at the end of the day, you're gonna accept opportunities and put yourself in a place where life has no option but to give you what, you, what you're worth. And that kind of goes back to the word of the day from Tuesday. I don't know if you guys remember the word of the day on Tuesday, but the word of the day was meritocracy, right? We live in America, which is a capitalistic place. Capitalism is very synonymous with the word meritocracy. You know, they go hand in hand. You know, based on merit is the based on, you know, the compensation and the level of level up you achieve, you know? So I personally love the fact that we're in America. You know, I'm really glad that it is like that, you know, because no one can really stop you, but you, especially us being in sales, being in commission environment, like you, you are your own business, right? So it's like the, you know, ideal spot to be in. The fact that you have unlimited income, the fact that, you know, you could, build your team to wherever you want it to build you know i love it i love it because if we were in china which is a communistic state right if you were kicking ass and taking names and you're number one you would get rewarded just like joe schmo back there that's lagging you know how fun is that i don't think that's very fun at all so 
you know, you know, be thankful for where you're at and let's maximize the opportunity, right? One of the things that he started off with, he said, discipline will fail you, reasons won't. So on those times where, you know, you're faced with adversity and, you know, we've all had those shitty days where we're just questioning ourselves and we're like, do I really have what it takes? At that point, you're going to feel your discipline start to fail you. You're going to feel your motivation fail you. But the reason why your, your, your why, that thing that fuels you, that inner desire that's like way bigger than any discipline, that is the thing that we got to focus on during tough times. So I know right now it's not, you know, super tough for us because we're, we're having momentum, but this is good. You know, like this is good. Let's ride this momentum and use it to serve us to hit our goals. You know, what, what is your what is your why? So let's do a fun activity here. I want you guys to drop down in this comment box, you know, what your why is. What is that thing that, you know, really fuels you that, you know, has never left your mind from day one. This is something that you guys really want to do. For me, it's my mom, you know, like that why is, is very powerful. Like whenever I feel like lazy, I, this is, I'm giving you guys real juice stuff, real gems that I actually do. Whenever I feel lazy, I just think about my mom and how like there's days that she would wake up at like freaking four or five just to get up and go to work, work a full day, you know, and then come home and, and make food for us, you know? And I, I would like think like, up oh, at this time, like that, that sucks, you know? So I can't let her down, not my mom, you know? So I put that in my head to make sure that I never have issues with being lazy, you know? Cause we're human, right? We're, we're, we have like emotions, sometimes we're tired, you know? But I can't let my, my tiredness uh, stop me from performing, you know? I gotta perform at a high level to, you know, just ball out. So I do that for my mom. What is it for you guys? Travis said his fiance getting a house, financial freedom. Nice. Good job, Travis. Stefan said, I don't want to be old and live in regret. That's a big one, man. Getting old scares me. Like every day, every every time, every year it's my birthday. I get a little sad. And I mean, I'm not telling you to be sad, Travis, but me personally, I get a little sad because then that, that little number next to my name goes up, you know, and I'm just like, damn. Uh, I, the, the more old I get, I feel like the, the less impressive success is. So I'm trying to get rich while I'm young, you know? So that's what I'm doing, what I'm doing. You know, I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm wearing a freaking shirt that says, let's get rich. Whatever your goals are, let's learn how to get obsessed. I feel like if we can learn how to get obsessed, we'll achieve it a lot quicker. You know, and, and what does obsession mean to you? You know, let's, first of all, let's, let's, uh, I have like a, general idea of what it is but let's look at the definition of it why not so if we go on google and we typed in obsess what do we get here you guys see my screen i think so let's see obsess obsess what does that mean it says preoccupy or fill the mind of someone continually intrusively and to a troubling extent now this is crazy like you know people if you are obsessed with something people will look at you crazy right but average people you know normally don't achieve significant things so we got to figure out how to not be average and how to really get obsessed you know and that could look different to different people it's not a bad thing you know but average people i feel like though if you're obsessed with something if you're obsessed with life if you're obsessed with success they're gonna look at you weird you know but that's okay. You know, we're not settling for average unless you are, if you are, you know, my message is not for you, but if you're not okay with average and you want to achieve above mediocrity and you want to achieve greatness, my message is for you. You're, you're my friend. I want to be associated with you. I want you to be right here next to me. You know, I want you to be at that table when we're at our freaking yacht party. And, uh, you know, we got the Lamborghinis waiting for us at the dock. We got the helicopter ride, you know, we got the lobster and the filet mignon right there. You're my kind of people if you're trying to not get average, you know? I prefer flying. That, that's right, that's right. Yeah. See? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get there to, to Ken's Island, you know? It's gonna be freaking sick. But we're not gonna get there if we have average mindsets, you know? And if you've hung around me by now, You've understood that I'm not comfortable hanging around people that have average, mediocre, small mindsets, right? So let's get it together. Whatever we're doing right this week, let's keep it up, man. 
you know we're all leaders here in this chat in this call so look when there's times of a lot of success like there has been this week this is a time of you know we got to be nitpicky on the things that our team is doing right so let's say you know uh they're not hitting the field exactly on the time they should right now we should encourage the behaviors we want them to to you know do and also give them a lot of praise you know give them a lot of praise because they deserve it our teams are hitting numbers right we got pmg smacking smacking the scoreboard right you gotta give them praise you know shout out to pmg y'all kicking ass out there we got beast mode right making a freaking statement their team looks like they're about to hit 30 man so you know keep up the great work that's what i'm talking about so this is the stuff that you know we want to continue now how can we get obsessed how can we get obsessed with success like how how is that does anybody have any ideas my my thought process is like if you want to get obsessed you got to start thinking about it you know every day it's, it's not okay just to you know think about it uh 8 8, 8 a.m to 6 p.m you know you gotta be thinking about it every day all day and I feel like that's really how you get obsessed. That's really how you get to that point where, you know, average is out the door. Cause there's, I'll tell you what, if you're obsessed with success, if you're obsessed with your goals and achieving, you know, achievement and accomplishment, there is no way you're gonna be average. It's just impossible, you know? So let's get obsessed, you know, whatever that looks like to you, you know what you need to do. You know, you guys have experience enough that you you know what you need to do. Now let's get to it, man. So on our, on our last note, I want to end with this. There's one thing that he did say that I really loved. He said, everything happens for you, not to you. And that really is basically the difference between victim mindset and being a proactive mindset. So keep this in mind man there's going to be complainers and there's going to be producers right the complainers like when shit doesn't go their way they're going to be ah oh, man the office they're screwing me ah or they're going to be like oh my god the orders are not going through ah you know they're going to be caught crying the producers they're going to figure out a way to you know acknowledge what's going on and figure out what we can do about it right and then learn from it you know that like that, i don't know if you guys know but sometimes uh mercury does this weird thing where it starts to go in retrograde right if you guys don't know what this is you guys better look it up but um during this time you know for some reason technology starts to fail more often a lot of things just don't go um your way during this time so it's kind of weird you know and if you're not a believer in it you know just observe what's going on don't believe it just observe but some stuff has not been going my way during uh you know this time either but I'm, I'm acknowledging it and i'm trying to learn from it like what can i learn from this <laughs> what can i what can i absorb from this so that in the future i have like a system in place so that this doesn't happen right so let's start thinking like that let's start thinking proactively what can we do what can we learn from you know how can we get better but look, one thing's for sure let's definitely not uh you know let let the situation take over us you know we're the leaders Let's go out there, let's lead our team to victory.